Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It is time to defend the living crystal quarry. We have blood, sweat and tears in order to even get it. And now the Pandorians want to reclaim it. Uh-uh, not with us. Today it's a kill all enemy type of mission. Just double checking that everybody is well equipped. Uh, Shattered Realm is good. We do have ammunition and a healing pack here on Jarenx. That's good as well. Then we do have Ian the Butcher Olds with that nice little DevRev AR. I would love to build more of those. They are actually quite good. Uh, is well equipped though. We do have Diddy G. Oh, we did not want to be encumbered. I see, I see. Well, I think a little bit of encumbrance is okay. Grell and Euler are fine. Euler could also benefit uh, from more paralysis, often running out of it. So, the only other thing that I wanted to do is raise willpower. And the one that needs it the most potentially is Grell. Already have 13 points with willpower. And yeah, no one of them can raise it by themselves. And they would need the Phoenix uh, SP, and I want to reserve them for inappropriate Murphy and JP Pauly as they still need to catch up so the main team really only needs that increases at this point willpower being the most noticeable one uh Jarenks could get one uh, why not the spider drone pack don't think that that is helpful for him vanish might be something that i could uh, that I could invest time, uh, points for and the sneak attack would only be relevant if he would actually be silent let's save for onslaught on butcher uh, it's 25 points that's a lot Yeah, maybe we're just really going for willpower, which at the moment is our only inhibiting factor. Nice, we are starting with reduced action points. Perfect, perfect. Good, here we go. Oh, nice, I remember that map. All we need to do, quote unquote, is to kill all enemies. Unfortunately, we're starting in the middle of the map, which seems hardly appropriate. Given that we wanted uh, to defend this here. I should be able to place my operatives wherever I think they should be placed, but okay. Snipers. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you do not have a sniper rifle, JP Pauly? Oh, it's the technician. My bad. For a second I thought it was our sniper who literally lost their sniper rifle. Steely G who somehow lost their sniper rifle and I was like, what? What is happening? The ranks is going to be frontliner. Oh, 
Polly moves up here. Uh, we've lost the turret. Never mind. Relegated to be a healer. I should definitely build a turret first. It's such a strong utility. Alright, Shattered Realm is over here. Ian the Butcher Owens, Overwatches. Sniper Overwatch and I think we're okay. <sighs> Isn't that a surprise? These guys wouldn't just spawn out of nowhere. Good, so far we can manage all of this here. best course of action. I think we are adrenaline rushing. That um, takes care of one of them. I was hoping it would take care of more of them. I was unfortunately wrong. Setting him up and... Removing the shield. Okay, cool. Well, now, what I want to do is... Jump in. Fiddle a little bit in our inventory. Run over. A little bit of a double kill here. And the question is how do we deal with these intruders? I think we need a melee character over there. Move 
go all the way over here. Yeah, I can't yet get there. scream that we could use no but what we could use is handing over actions shield in the direction very good move over here further deploy the shield move into secure cover Oh, look at that, we have artillery incoming. Uh, we could jump behind a rock, or we're retreating peacefully. Hmm, well, what kind of weapon does he have? Sniper. He will be at least stunned. Could also move up and um, use a war scream. Let's see if uh, this here would kill him. It would. Good, so we're going. We're continuing to go. Potentially can't fully kill him with one hit. We would end up here. But it might be a stun again. Yeah, not the look, overall not the worst outcome, right? Move to here. takes away his stupid uh, spitting and there might even be a chance to fully kill him. I think that was the kill.
moves into cover can't reach the guy it's unfortunate but it is what it is everybody else is in heavy cover Luckily, we're beneath the bridge. Oh my gosh, would that uh, suck to be uh, to be hit by that dude? One hit, one kill. How could there be still more enemies? Oh, I see. One. And two fully get there but I think we're already doing very well for ourselves Ian just man modes it and butchers all of them Shitted realm disables this guy. Move over. Extra actions. Okay. to here always come back down and um, I will heal, heal your body part but for the moment you seem to be fine up there good as long as we're under the bridge everything is good she Drinks. Um, we'll try to hit this guy from really, really far away. Or uh, who could try to dash up? Yeah, 
Yeah, Onslaught takes two actions, so that's a no-no. But Ranks uh, supports his friend back here. He moves up. And removes actions from, uh, from this guy. Good, so that flank is secure. Who else is ready? Dilly is definitely ready for some action. Moves over here. And even if it is just a tiny opening, he could hit it. <laughs> okay, maybe not that tiny. But Dilly is really good at hitting uh, stuff. Okay, so. Uh, Grell. So what are we going to do with Grell? She is a melee character as well. And I think she can prove that. Right, end of turn. I absolutely love the enemy snipers. that I like more than them is a goo thro uh, throwing entity Kidding me. I absolutely hate it when the game is not explicit about uh, what it is, uh, what it is doing. <sighs> it was very clear that you can move to here with one action, and now I'm standing in front of uh, that guy. Do we have an option to retaliate? So he has lost his head, which is not helpful. Pincer. I think over here the situation is quite clear. Moves up. Teaches him a valuable lesson. Can't quite finish him, unfortunately. It just was not enough damage. Ranks on the other side. It's 
starts with removing armor. The three action points really start uh, to screw us over. Then he moves all the way over here. Polly can ignore the goo, luckily. Can't create, uh, can't redo, can't uh, regrow the hat, not with uh, just one action point. Very unfortunate. Good, end of turn. Potentially going to take one hit up there. The goo is highly, highly aggravating. I don't know if that is better or worse than the other stuff that I've seen so far, but this here is... It, it is quite annoying mechanic. Okay, well, apparently up here. This guy tried to move away once again. But yeah, that won't be happening. Okay, we're good. over. And I think we need to heal ourselves. up adrenaline rush let's get a couple of hits out one two of course that thing also has like a massive amount of armor three Four. Good. Initial problem solved. It won't annoy us with the goo anymore. The question is, can we still capture it? That's generally the question now. Can we try to capture a couple of them? Paralyzed. Problem solved. Moves over.
Thankfully, we do have dash available. And let's see how much, just how much um, paralyzation we can put onto them. over here I would love to get the head back because I don't want that that much uh, damage to be done but next up shattered Rome will try to get his head repaired Good, enough to go. One, two, three. Overwatch. Take that melee target there. Ian jumps over the ghoul. And continues to move over here. jumps just moving down the prophet Murphy tries to haste everyone yeah that's a good position <laughs> Move up and repair his head. I think that will also reduce our repair costs afterwards. Yeah, I'm not sure if we killed him. begins to move up and I don't want to take uh, take him out Good, we're moving over here. <laughs> One, two. All right, the game just closed for a second. Twice. Sorry for that. Apparently, good. Let's retry that again. The game closed like multiple times on me, which I found weird. Drank sense over even more paralysis shots. Free reload.
אוהל המובסף. can't just uh, reach Dilly uh, here for more f uh, free overwatch shots. <coughs> he had um, onslaught as well, and with that we could have given over even more actions. re-enabled is anyone yeah, Ian Ian is uh, still missing his head I don't think that it will uh, matter but still moving up and healing that would not be a bad idea and we're in the turn Good, 600 is great. That is really good. Unfortunately, the XP for Paulie and Inappropriate Murphy isn't that good because it's divided by eight, but who cares? They at least get five uh, skill points and that's really what matters. And we got ourselves a big fat goo thrower. The mechanic of the goo is aggravating. It it's really annoying. We found ourselves a new Jericho piercing assault rifle. That's not bad. It has piercing instead of shredding though. And we got ourselves a chin run. Cool. Well, that concludes the uh, problem there. Now, I think I decided we want to go to here. Although it's a little bit further away, but it will hatch the problem uh, from uh, any attacks that happens or uh, that happen over there. Let's see what the others are doing. So they are still on the way. Medical 4 is healed again. Which means we can use uh, them in order to do the scavenge, the scavenge hunt. Uh, scavenge hunt. And now Tiamat 2, aka Team 2, can uh, heal up as well. We got a couple more promotions. Mainly just the standard stuff. Armor break is good. And the close quarter evade is good as well. Cool. One thing that I would be wondering is, do we have new recruits? No, but they become available very soon. Okay. Well, that is our next mission, the Pandorian Lair, with uh, our team number three. In the meantime, one last check. No recruits. We got that chin run. 150. Not bad. Which means, in particular, team number three, we could now make the transition for one of them. Uh, we wanted Sniper Berserker, that's a good combination. We would uh, have the ability to become immune to mind control. And I think the combination that really worked out well was this plus this, regeneration torso plus stomper legs. 
Uh, Kyle has really nice equipment. Uh, Craig has almost equally nice equipment. A little bit worse helmet. But yeah, we're going with that and that. Costs us 300, but gives us a large boon for the next mission. If you want to acquire a boon for this channel, click the like button or rather let the uh, uh, channel acquire the boon of more subscribers. Um, click the like button and see you in two days. Bye bye.